Mary. My beautiful name is Victoria Taz for those who are new to this channel. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back. Now, if you see my face for the very first time, hello. And if you've been watching my content and you have never liked, commented, shared, subscribed, or clicked on the notification bell to be notified anytime I post a new video, this is your golden opportunity to do exactly that, and I will really appreciate you for that. So this is a continuation of the previous video that I've posted on my channel. And if you have not watched that video, pause. Go watch that video and then come back to this video. And then you'll be able to see why I'm telling you that you should watch the previous video first. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the type B of the houses that we have here at Shangri-La Villas. Also seated on an eighth of an acre. So we are going to be touring this house and you're going to see this slight little differences in the orientation of the rooms in the two different houses so come along with me entryway of this house and as you can see construction is still going on so they are yet to complete this entryway so here we have a slot for two parking spots for two cars as you can see and then we are going to walk right into the house here right here we have this stone wall planning that is well, very well put together it breaks the monotony of the white walls of the house and then here we are walking into the house and you have these very well reinforced steel doors, very heavy steel doors that you know have quite a number of locks so you are assured for security. And then on this side we have an area here which could serve as your console area and then you have this window area right here which is bringing in the light and the air, it opens from the outside. And then right here we have another window bringing in the light into this part of the house. So they are translucent windows and I like that because they bring in the privacy of this you know, side of the house. So you don't have to worry about people peeking from the outside or having to install curtains into your house. So I love that about these aluminum windows. And then we are walking right into the living area, so stroke the dining area. So as you can see, it's a seamless space all the way until where we have the end of the wall of the dining area. So we are going to start with the living room of this house. So it starts from that wall to this end of this wall here, where we have the sliding doors on that side. So here we have a nice little intimate space where you can have, you know, your nice movie nights and all, because we do not have a family room in this house, but this serves as both the living area, family area of the house. And here you have an area where you can have your TV, your piece of art, or whatever you may please to have there. So right here we have the sliding doors that lead you to the front yard of this house, as you can see. So we have a very spacious front yard. It's a little different from the other house because of the orientation of the house. Mm. And then walking right back in into the living area, there's a small detail that I would like you to see right here with the curtains. So, sorry. So right here we have the curtains which are tucked away or right beside the gypsum where you have this curtain railing so you don't have to see all that from this part of the house so when you stand right here it looks so well put together and it looks just seamless and nice and then on this other side we have the dining of this house which is slightly bigger compared to the other house so you can have a table sitting up to 10 people here if you have a large family which is good so, and then here we have another sliding door leading back out into the front yard. So same, same concept on the other side in the living area is what we have going on on this 
end of this uh, room. And then right here we have this beautiful space which you can decorate however you like. And right here you have the guest bathroom which is quite simple. So you have your sink area right here and your toilet, your floating toilet and another window to bring in the light and the air into this room. So there is consistency in the presentation of the rooms. The tiles are similar to the other house as well and every other detail of the house they are just similar so the only difference in these houses is the orientation of the rooms that said we have one bedroom in the lower level of the house in the other house which is type a of the house and in this house we do not have any bedroom on the lower level other than the dsq so from here we are going to be walking into the kitchen area of this house and the first thing that we are going to walk into here is the pantry. So in this house, they, there is no electricity, so you'll bear with us. So you have your provision here for the shelves, three shelves. If you wish to add, you can do that. And then on this end, we have the kitchen area, a contemporary kitchen, just like the other room. I mean, sorry, just like the other house. So you have same, same concept. You have your cabinets here, two and two, a lot of cabinetry, a lot of storage space. Then you have your inbuilt cooker with the oven and the wood. And you have your sink area right here. The faucets are yet to be installed. And then you have your sliding windows right here. And then on this end, we are going to be walking into the backyard of the house. So right here, you can see the orientation. You can tell the difference. So right here, you have the laundry area of this particular part of the house. And here is where you have an area where you can place your laundry machines. And then on this side now, you have your DSQ, your designated staff quarters is right here. And then your window, yet again on this end, and a simple bathroom with a nice uh, sink area, a toilet, and a shower area on this side. Um, floating staircase which is just similar only that the orientation is different from the landing of this staircase you have this window again that opens from the outside the aluminum windows and then right here we have a space where you could have another console area or a plant right here or your family photos or any other piece of art and then walking towards this side you have this door again, this louver door that hides away the boiler of the house. 
And then on to this side, we have the first bedroom of this floor. So here we have where you can place your bed, your closet area, and your sliding windows on this other end right here. And then on this side, we have the bathroom area. So here you have your shower cubicle. So I really like the finishing of these houses. It's very well done, very crisp and just, you know, very seamless. So you have the shower cubicle with a nice rain shower head and the hand shower. Your nice vanity here with a mirror and your toilet with a bidet there. Then from this first bedroom, we are going to be walking into the second bedroom, which is basically the same, no big difference. The sliding windows, closet space area, bed area. And then we're going to talk about the floors. The floors are laminated floors. The floors all throughout the house, other than the bedrooms, are tiled floors. So on this end, you have your bathroom area. Again, your shower cubicle, your toilet, and your vanity. Same, same, same. No difference. So the best thing about this house is that there is inclusion for everyone. You don't need to feel like your room is not, you know, up to standard. You get the best quality of everything in all the rooms. Then from here, we're going to walk into bedroom number three, which is right here. Again, we have the laminated floors. You have the area designated for your bed. You have your closet space area, your window right here with the sliding windows. This house is not mean with light at all. There's light everywhere, especially in the bathrooms, very well irritated and very you know bright so same case vanity toilet shower cubicle so from the bathroom of this room we are walking to the main bedroom of the house as you can see it's in its own designated corner of this house <laughs> so we have the master bedroom so you will see the differences that we were talking about the other house in the other house the master bedroom is quite spacious compared to this one because of again the orientation of this house but the square meters are basically the same 200 square meters 199 same thing so here we have your provision for the bed your window area and then you have a little space right there where you can place a mirror and a small little console and then you have your balcony area here so you have your sliding doors leading you to the balcony area of this house they are locked yeah sorry so from here we're going to be walking into the you know mini closet area mini walk-in closet area so you remember in the other house it was a bit you know wider uh, you have your closet area right here your window area so right here we have the bathroom area of this room and on this side we have the shower cubicle with the rain shower head and the hand shower quite similar to all the other rooms and then here you have your floating toilet with your bidet and you have your vanity right here with your nice big mirror here mm -hmm. so that brings us to the end of this video guys if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up comment share and click on the notification bell to be notified anytime i post a new video for details about payment of the house and any other questions that you may have you could ask in the comment section or you could just 
check out my description box for more information about the payment plan of the house and generally more information about the house thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one guys bye